Happy International Women's Day to you all. I hope you're well. I wanted to talk a little bit about being a woman. Uh, it's been something I've been thinking about a lot recently. Well, actually, I've been thinking about it all my life. <laughs> I remember when I was a teenager, uh, standing up in, I got to the finals of the um, speech competition at my school, and I was talking about inequality. And I was talking about how women still are not paid the same as men. And this was 30, 30 years ago. And not much has changed really since then. But something in me has changed on the subject. So I used to believe in equality. We are equal. We're the same. We can do the same things. And the more I've kind of got older and the more I've studied my being and the more I've got into Tantra and the kind of wild woman work I do, the more I totally don't agree that we are equal. We're not the same. We are equal. We're not the same. No one should be under anyone. No one should be suppressed or oppressed by anyone else. But we're not the same. Men and women are not the same. When you look at the kind of core aspects of the divine masculine and the divine feminine, they are very different in their beings. And one of the things that I've come to realise more and more as I get older is that we should celebrate these differences because they are what makes us special. Same could be said for all of society. You know, we are all different. You know, there's no two people that are exactly the same. And we should celebrate all of those differences because that is what is so wonderful about this world is that everything is different. Every flower is different. Every person is different. Every fingerprint is different. But when it comes to men and women, when we look at this kind of, we look at these stereotypes, these archetypes, of course, women have the masculine in them and men have the feminine in them. So some men are more feminine and some women are more masculine and that's great. But actually, when we look at the cause of what is masculine and feminine, they are different. You know, masculine is a lot more doing, going, pushing. It's this different drive, this different energy. And part of the problem with women in our society is we have felt that in order to be equal to men, we have to be men. We have to turn into men and we have to succeed in all the areas that they succeed in. In order to be equal, which is a load of BS. We don't have to do that. We have to celebrate the fact that we are women and we are amazing because of that. We are amazing because we are designed differently and that doesn't make us any less incredible. It makes us more incredible. Shh. <laughs> I, I truly honour the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I think they are all incredible. <laughs> So on International Women's Day, I celebrate both men and women. I celebrate our differences, but I celebrate us being women, being intuitive, being more emotional, being these lovely, wonderful, hormonal, beautiful beings that we are. I celebrate that. And, you know, for me, this is quite relevant more and more as I change, I go into a changing phase in my life out of that mother stage and into more the wise woman crone stage and it's a slow journey that's just beginning I still am young and vital and you know but I feel that change and what's very interesting for me having a five-year-old son is traditionally in you know history I would be done with my parenting by now my oldest is 18 and part of me feels like I should be done now I, I should be kind of on that final stretch, not still having a whole long slog to go. Because my energy is changing from that mothering energy to a different phase. And so that's a really interesting journey as well, you know, and navigating the, the hormonal fluxes of this irritation and anger that never used to really be there. And listening to that and listening to the change in my body and the change in my being and my needs and my desires. 
and honouring all of it. Honouring this journey as a woman that we're on. For me, I feel like it's only just beginning parts of it. You know, I feel like the last few years have been a real awakening of my divine feminine. And I feel like I'm just stepping into that now. Into me being a beautiful divine goddess, like we all are. But so often we block it, don't we? We resist it. We don't understand it. <clears throat> We're scared of it. We're scared of that power. And I think for me as a woman, power has been an, a, a really interesting topic. <clears throat> which I'm exploring more and more. I've always been scared to be in my power because I felt it's too much. And no one will want to be around me. No one will like me, especially men. It's a narrative that played for many years because we are still conditioned on some level to how a woman should behave. So for me, it's been about breaking free of those conditionings, those programmings. My mother was a beautiful wild woman who wasn't programmed in that way at all. She did what she wanted. She she didn't behave like that. She was an amazing force of nature. And so I know I've got that oomph in me. And my work with the wild women is about exploring that, about really getting into that side of things more for myself. And then sharing that with others, you know, for me, that's so important. It's the, the work on the self and then the expression of that outwardly afterwards. So, you know, when it's International Women's Day, I think about my mother prim primarily and her force of nature. And I think about all the women in my family and their strength. You know, there's been my my aunt, my grandma, both grandmas, both aunts, in fact, are strong women, very strong women. And I really honour that I've come from lots of strong women. And I feel like I am a strong woman. I haven't always been. In some ways I have. But, you know, the older I get, the more I am stepping into that role. And the more I hope I can portray that for my children, especially since they're all boys. I've got three boys and I really, really want to convey to them the beauty of the masculine and the feminine, honouring both of these <clears throat> so that they grow up understanding that it's good to be a strong man and it's good to be a strong woman and that they both can sit so beautifully together that no one needs to be oppressed. No one needs to feel like they are superior. So, yeah, uh, that's a little bit from me on International Women's Day. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope whether you're a man or a woman, you can stop and think about how the divine feminine affects you in your life. For me, when I think about the divine feminine, it's very much it's the earth. It's that beautiful earth holding us. It's Mother Earth really just pulling us all in and supporting us and nurturing us and holding that space so we can grow, so we can flourish. That to me is the true divine feminine. And so on International Women's Day, I honour the truth of that divine feminine energy, that beautiful, nurturing, holding energy. And I honour that in each and every one of you.